Hey, Jeremy here for Design Tuts, and on this tutorial for Photoshop, we're going to create this uh, band effect on a photo. So here is our final output. This nice band effect, shadow, and all that. So take a picture, anyone. So here I have a uh, picture of a uh, flooding here, and it's a fairly um, normal size picture, so 800 by 600. And now you see on the layer spell there's a uh, no, no, the layer called background and it's low lock here. So press Alt and double click to unlock it. And now we have our picture. I need to make this little um, border on the side. So for this, just go to Image, um, Canvas Size, and put it in pix uh, pixels. And I want to add 30 pixels. So here we go. And I add that. I have a nice uh, border here. Now we need we need it to be white. So create a new layer. So click this little icon, and now put it under the layer, of the photo, and press Shift Backspace, and put it in white. Use white. Here we go. So now I'll take the picture and press Control E to merge those two layers. And rename it photo. Okay, now we need to resize this photo. So for this, go to Edit, Free Transform. And now you have the width, the height, and a little chain here. To click on the little chain, I'm just going to link those two together and make it to 75%. And confirm by pressing Enter. Now take your photo and take your Move tool and move it up. And now we need to uh, make this uh, distortion here. And the shear uh, filter, which is the one we're going to use, only uh, works sideways. So for this, we need to rotate the canvas of our picture. So go to Image, Rotate Canvas, and 90 degrees clockwise. OK, so now we need to add our shear effect to that, as I said. So go to Filter, Distort, Distort, and Shear. That defaults here. And now you have this uh, little green here, grid here. And take the middle line and click on the first one here. Click here. And so it should be good. And let's add a nice um, effect to it. Oh. Oh, a space, turn it back to default. All right, that looks good. That's okay. Now let's go back and uh, put it normal. Um, and go to image, rotate canvas, and 90 degrees counterclockwise. Here we go. Now we need to add a little background to that. So go shift, backspace. And oh, my bad. Create a new layer, put under, and rename it BG for back for background. And now press Shift Backspace and use uh, color and use the color from your picture. So I'm using this uh, the ground here. Here we go. Now let's create our shadow for this. Now create a new layer and put it between the photo and BG. Rename this layer Shadow. Okay, so now I have our shadow layer, and we need to take the selection from this picture. So Ctrl and click on the photo layer here, and be on your um, shadow layer, and Shift Backspace, and select Black. Okay, so Control D to deselect, and now take your shadow layer, go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Now we need to move this down up to here. So take your Move tool and move it down here. Here we go. Now let's uh, blur this thing out to make it look like a nice shadow. So take 
your um, good filter, I mean, I mean, with a blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to 10 pixels, that would be good. Here we go. So, now we can um, bump the opacity down to 50%. And here we go. Now you can link those two layers, so selecting those two, and click on the link here. And so now every time you do something, it applies to both. So if I rotate, maybe bring that down to it even more. Here we go. We have a nice slow picture. And it's a uh, band. It looks uh, real, pretty realistic, I think. And um, here is basically the end of the tutorial. I mean, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and you can do this to almost any anything. And uh, it's a nice uh, tool. The shear is a nice, um, nice filter to do, to use, and all that. All right. So again, I'm Jeremy for Design Tuts, and I'll see you next time for some other tutorials for Dreamweaver, Photoshop, programming tutorials, whatever it is. All right. See you.